Hi everybody, today I'd like to talk about the Moon, an astronomical body formed just as our planet was beginning to take shape and orbiting ever since. This is why the Moon has been part of every single creation myth since man appeared. Because the Moon can do anything from glow to shine, man has always wondered where that light came from until around two and a half thousand years ago, people wisened up and started speculating about whether what they considered to be a light source was actually reflected light. Well, it turns out they were right, and this was sufficient reason for the miracle seekers to come up with the idea that this is mentioned in the Quran as a scientific miracle. So let's see what the miracle seekers actually claim. The Arabic word for moon is Kamar, and its light is described as Munir or Nur, meaning borrowed light or a reflected light. Whereas this, the moon is described as a Nur. Now, a Nur means a light that is originating from another source and of course this is the correct understanding the moon reflects the light of the sun it's common knowledge today but not necessarily so in the time of the prophet muhammad one of these attributes is the fact that a number of scientific truths that we have only been able to uncover by the technology of the 20th century were stated in the quran 1400 years ago the light of the moon is it its own light or reflected light? So the atheist will tell us that previously we thought the moon has its own light. Recently we have come to know in science, recently means 100 years back, 200 years back, we have come to know that the light of the moon is not its own light but a reflected light. The Quran mentioned 1400 years ago in Surah Furqan, chapter number 25, verse number 61, that blessed is he who had placed the constellation in the sky and placed therein a lamp, a sun, having its own light and moon having reflected light or borrowed light. The Arabic word used for moonlight in the Quran is munir or nur, meaning reflected light or borrowed light. Who could have mentioned in the Quran 1400 years ago that the light of the moon is not its own light but reflected light which we have come to know recently. So to find out what the basis is for these claims, I thought let me go straight to the Quran and see what the surah and the, what the ayah say about this. The one thing is in 10.5 we see that the moon is a light of beauty, nothing about reflection. 2561, it actually says that the moon is giving light but not reflecting light. And then finally in 7115, we see how Allah has created the heavens and the entire universe, along with it a moon, which is just a light in their midst, nothing about reflection. So how do we approach this? I thought I'd use the same three truth tests that I used in the embryology movie, which is first, is there an alternate explanation? Is it verbatim in the Quran? And does it actually re reflect reality? Looking at the basis for alternate explanations, I found out that these gentlemen, two and a half thousand years ago, started wondering about what the actual source of the light is in the moon, and that they actually then decided and proved that it was indeed reflected light. So there is no basis here for a claim that this was only found out a couple of hundred years ago, and therefore all the claims for a miracle based on the new discovery of these facts is unfounded. Trying to get to the bottom of this, I then went to the secondary text, being a tafsir. In the tafsir, I found no mentioning whatsoever of any kind of reflection or reflected light. Then I went to the Arab translation sites to look what this nur actually means, and I found only one thing, light. By now I was sufficiently puzzled and went back to the various Dawah sites to find out if maybe I had misunderstood something. So I looked at the actual claim and I saw that they say, we have seen that in the above ayat the word light is used for the moon and the word lamp for the sun. This means that the word used for the moon refers to a light reflecting bright motionless body. They further say that the word used for the sun refers to a celestial body which is always burning a constant source of heat and light. And because people in the 7th century did not know why the intensity of the sun and moon were different, they just called them by different names. But the Quran knew better. And this is why this is a scientific miracle not known at the time and thus represents a miracle. Well, let's take a little bit, uh, let's take a closer look and explain why the words used in the Quran do not actually constitute a miracle. First, we need the word nur, which we have seen means light. The other words used are the verb munir, which is giving off this light. 
So why do the authors of the Quran not simply use some other word? There are alternatives to describe reality such as mustanir, which is illuminated. It would have been very easy. Or you have bayan, which means to reflect. Or ini kisas, or anara al-makan, and vadafihi al-nur. Excuse my pronunciation, please. But they all mean put light into it, reflect light off of it. So there are words if you want to make it perfectly clear. For the last test, whether the Quran reflects reality, let us go back and read what it says in Surah 24, Ayah 35, which, by the way, is pure, beautiful poetry. It starts off with, Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. Now, if we replace the word with what our brain contortionists, such as Zakir Naik and Harun Yahya, have magically produced, we get Allah is a light-reflecting, bright, motionless body of the heavens and the earth. Hmm. Not so poetic anymore, is it? Interestingly, in 3346, it says that Muhammad is the source of light, the Siraj Munir, the same word attached to the sun. Is Muhammad the source of light and Allah only the reflector of Muhammad's light? Hardly. I wish Muslim miracle seekers would think of the consequences of their actions. But if that is what they want the Quran to read, so be it. Conclusion The fact that the moon was giving off reflected light was well known in the 7th century. Test number one, fail. We see that this interpretation of the Quran verbatim saying the moon gives off reflected light is not true. Test number two, fail. Does it reflect reality that Allah is reflected light? Hardly, and thus fail. The claim fails the three truths test and is thus not a scientific miracle. Sorry. P.S. A word of caution. I do not think that a believer has a reason to doubt their belief as this is merely a critique of the scientific miracle claim and not the teachings of the Quran. Thank you for your time and interest.